Okay, so hi dear Pisces, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Taro and this is a general monthly reading for all the Pisces. Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Keep in mind this is general. It might or might not resonate with you in the first place. The second thing, this is a reading for uh, 1st till the 15th of October 2024. I'm going to tap into your recent past, current energies and near future and we will see the guidance as usual. Starting with the overall energy for this 15 days of October 2024. And... Uh, Wow, I just got a flash of a woman out of nowhere, my goodness. Just literally I got, got a flash of a woman standing in front of me when I closed my eyes for a second. Wow, <laughs> see my third eye is opening. Okay, so honey, the thing is that if it is not resonating, it's not your story. It's not a career reading or love reading or anything specific, but whatever messages will come, I will just let you guys know, okay? If there, if there is old woman around you who is suffering in any way, please help her, okay? Pisces. This is a totally different message. But if there is somebody who is a female, a female or feminine kind of energy, sensitive kind of energy, and they are suffering, they need your help, please do help them. It's a message that's coming for you directly in my intuition. So in like intuitive messages today coming for you guys. Okay, anyways, so let's start with your reading, honey. Yeah. Pisces, let's see. The overall energy for Pisces people for the first 15 days of October 2024 are, is, not are, the Queen of Wands. So you are going to be so much in your power, like in your personality development and uh, like uh, uh, changing your looks or doing something totally different with your looks and being like going to the gym or doing something totally different with your physique. So it's going to be all about you, your personality, your looks and your development and your energies uh, like of creating your own reality, creating your life with a lot of happiness, with a lot of this energy of I have to get my shit together and I'm going to do whatever I feel I, is uh, right for me and I'm definitely going to go beyond a certain cycle of my life and enjoy my life to the fullest. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Now let's see in the recent past what was happening. Pisces. We have the Nine of Cups. There was a wish fulfillment that you were working on or you got some kind of wish fulfilled in the recent past and you were quite happy or your heart chakra was open towards a particular situation and you were involved in that situation with all of your heart and soul. You were like, no matter what, I am going to go in that direction because this is something that's aligning with my heart, like fully open to something or someone with all of your heart and soul. Now in the current situation, we have the Ten of Pentacles. It's a very good card. So it's like right now you are very focused on money, job, career, financial stability, security, safety, along with the happiness of your family or people who are like family to you or creating some kind of family kind of dynamic around you, surrounding your energies. By the 15th of October, we have the Hanged Man in the surrendering position, in the surrender mind mindset, not mind. No. Yeah, let's clarify the Nine of Cups in the recent past for you guys, honey. We have the Eight of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles and the King of Wands. So you were putting in the effort and energy in something with all of your heart and soul, with all of your zest and zeal and you were waiting for the results to come out. It was like something that was very, very, very close to your heart. I can't uh, like uh, uh, put pressure on uh, <laughs> very anymore but this was something that was really close to your heart and you were working on that situation or working on that. A particular in that particular direction with all of your heart and soul with all of your energy and you were very very enthusiastic about the results now if the results came or not uh, i really don't have any idea but i feel like mostly you got the results in a very very positive way or you you started seeing the results of your hard work in a particular direction and you felt like wow this is working out this is something that's aligning with my heart and soul so let's work in that direction along with some kind of waiting period in between you know up like from time to time now the ten of pentacles very much focused on money job career creating stable life secure and safe life for yourself and the people who matters to you okay let me clarify the ten of pentacles Cre creating long-term happiness is your goal right now this is what you're doing right now we have the seven of swords the four of pentacles the eight of Pen uh, eight of cups see what is happening here is Whatever you are holding on to, whatever resentment, anger or past issues or some kind of betrayals or cheatings or uh, something that was uh, kind of not so good in your energies, whatever you are holding, whatever you were holding on to, again, it could be people, it could be situations, it could be simple limiting beliefs and you felt like this was the truth of your life. Now you're realizing whatever you're holding on to till this point of time, till this point of your life was not the whole truth. Some kind of limiting belief is breaking, uh, falling apart. Some kind of 
uh, lie is breaking up, is falling apart. Something that you felt like is something that you are going to need for the rest of your life is no longer required in your energy field. And you're walking away. You are detaching yourself from that kind of illusion. And you're creating a very beautiful future, very beautiful, uh, you know, uh, safe and secure kind of energy for yourself and for people who like really matters to you right now. So that is what you're doing at this present moment, really creating a safe and secure future for yourself and people who matters to you, right? By letting go for us, like a lot of uh, things and people and situations that you felt like are something meaningful for you, but it's not aligning with you anymore. By the 15th of October, we have the hanged man. You are going to be in this energy of seeing things and people and situations from a totally different perspective. And you are going to be in the surrender mode. Okay, let me clarify the hanged man. We have the four of wands, the world card and the three of cups. Yeah. I do see some kind of ending of a chapter in your life, something that was uh, very stable. For some of it's a marriage com commitment uh, kind of energy. For some of it was something very stable, so, some some kind of stable job offer or career or some kind of uh, money making kind of a thing. So you are going to put an end to something that was quite, quite, quite important to you but it's an end of a cycle it's an end of a, a chapter and you're going to celebrate the new cycle new energy of your life it's like you are going to surrender to the divine for an ending that was supposed to happen might be quite a long time ago but you are now celebrating this ending with this energy of okay whatever is meant for me will come to me eventually if it is something that is supposed to end let it end with the like uh, happiness let it end with celebration so even if there is something that was close to your heart uh, that was something meaningful to you you are putting an end to a, uh, like there is a completion of a cycle and you're celebrating that completion with this new brand new energy brand new opportunity of okay let's collaborate with uh, new energy new people new connection new things and let's explore life from a different angle from a different vision from a different mindset and let's explore life uh, from the surrender mode so it's like in the surrender mode you are enjoying your life to the fullest you will be enjoying your life to the fullest by putting by putting uh, yourself in this surrender mode you will be in this energy of putting and uh, end to a cycle that needs to be completed and finished and moving to the next chapter of your life with a lot of happiness with a lot of this energy of i got my shit together i know how to uh, move forward how to manifest a new life so the art of manifestation is going to be very very high high with you highly aligned with you that's really cool Let's see the guidance for you guys here. Pisces, closing the reading. What's the guidance? We have the page of swords, the knight of swords, a world card. Don't be in a hurry. Don't be in any kind of rush or hurry to move towards the next chapter of life. Definitely there is an, uh, completion, or there is a completion of a cycle in, in your life in a big, big, big way. There is some kind of huge completion of a cycle. Okay, Something big is completed here. Okay, and you are now a learner again. Be a learner again. Be a learner again. Try like uh, learn to unlearn things that you learned till now so that you can learn new things in a proper way. Let me repeat it. Write it down in the comment section. I will pin it so that uh, you guys will be able to understand the guidance properly. Learn to unlearn the things that you have learned till now so that you can learn new things that's meant for you. You know, that's meant for the next chapter of your life. Please write it down in the comment section. It will be helping a lot of people, trust me, right? Even if you guys are not going to watch the video, some people just uh, read the title or read the comment section and they leave. That is also going to help them. At least the guidance will be there for them, right? So that is what I have for you, honey. Hope this helps. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care. God bless you. Namaste.